Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get your Droid X back to stock Freya or Gingerbread without the use of RSD Lite and using almost any computer. If you're one of the many who have not had luck doing an SBF flash to your phone using RSD Lite, you'll want to pay close attention. This method will work on a Mac or a PC running Windows 7, Vista, or XP. In this tutorial, I'll be walking you through the process step by step using a PC, but if you're on a Mac or using Linux for that matter, see the link in the description for detailed directions. Just to give you an overview, we'll be burning an ISO image onto a disk and then running it with our phones connected to the PC while in bootloader mode. There's even an option to write it to a USB disk instead of CD for easy storage. The great thing about this method is that if you're on vacation or somewhere with a computer that is unreliable with RSD Lite, you can now bring this with you in case you need to SBF your phone on the go. As mentioned before, after doing this flash, your Droid X will be back to stock and everything will be erased on your internal storage only. Your SD card data should be intact. It'll be just like you've taken your X out of the box brand new. Let's get started. You'll need to visit the link in the description and download the ISO image. There will be three options depending on what system version you want to end up on. Froyo.340, Gingerbread.596, and Gingerbread.602. No matter which one you pick, you'll also have the option to upgrade to the newest version once this has been loaded to your phone, which I'll go over towards the end of the video. You can see here the post we're looking at also covers using a Mac, using Linux, and also how to do this using a USB drive instead of CD. Since we're using Windows 7, we'll go back to that section and pick the version of Android that we want. Download it to your PC and save it somewhere that you can locate later. You'll need to then burn the ISO to a CD. You can do this using your own burning program if you're familiar with the process or you can download the easy to use ISO burner that's linked in the description. If you choose to use the ISO burner, simply click on the free ISO burner executable, click run, then open, and navigate to the ISO image which will be labeled with 1KDS and then the version that you picked. Double click it. Obviously you'll need to make sure that you have a blank CD in the drive first, then click burn. Once that's finished, the program may eject your CD. Insert the CD back into your computer and restart your PC. When your computer is first booting up, there will be an option on the screen to get into Boot Selection pop-up menu. Usually you hit F12, but it may be F8 or the Escape key as well. If you don't know how to do this on your computer, you can always just wait for it to eventually boot up off of the CD on its own. In my case, it's F8, so we'll hit that now. We want to boot from the CD-ROM, so we'll make sure it's selected and hit Enter. When you see Boot Baby Boot, hit Enter. The script will now run and get your PC ready for the flash. When it is ready, you'll get a prompt at the top left of your screen that says, Are you ready to SBF flash your phone? We need to put your phone in bootloader mode now. Take your phone and power it off. Hold down the camera button and the volume down button. Now hold down the power button. When you see the screen flicker, you can let off of the buttons. Now plug your USB cable into your phone and to your PC. Press the 1 button on the top of your keyboard, not the 1 on the number pad, then press enter. Your phone will now be flashed back to stock. The whole process from the time you restart your computer until the time that it's finished should be roughly 12 minutes. At the end of your flash, you'll see a message in the top left corner saying that the script is done and that you'll need to do a factory reset. Please keep in mind that the directions listed here are for a factory reset on Gingerbread. If you just flashed Froyo, you'll have a different set of instructions. If you're not familiar with either process, I've made step-by-step -step tutorials on how to do both which will be linked in the description and on the screen. It'll take just a few minutes and it's imperative that you do this for your phone to function properly. Please take a moment to do that now. Also, you can now hit 1 and then enter on your PC to shut it off. After you've completed your factory reset and you've rebooted your phone, you should be greeted by a screen that prompts you to touch the Android to get started. This will walk you through the process of programming your phone to have cellular connection, as well as set up your Google account to restore your apps and contacts that are backed up with your Google account. If you decide that you want to be on the latest version of Android, you can always pull the over-the-air update. To do this, you'll press Menu, Settings, About Phone, System Updates, and hit Download. 
Then you'll apply the update when it's done. I want to give props to these people for making this as simple as it is to recover our phones. You can hit me up on Twitter at RageXMods if you have questions or you want to get updates on my videos. If this video helped you, make sure you subscribe so you can check out more step-by-step -step tutorials and ROM reviews.